Hi, my name is Chigo Ziem. Welcome to the Preacher's Portal. I'll be your host. If you already subscribed to this channel, welcome back. If you're new, please hit the subscribe button below. Today, we have an exciting topic, and that topic is characteristics of a bad friend. Friendship is a very sensitive aspect of human life. The ability to interact, cohabit, and relate with others. There is a popular saying, show me your friend and I'll tell you who you are. And that's a perfect description of the role of friendship in human life. But there are two sides to this coin. There are two sides to the friendship coin. As much as friendship is a necessity, there are some toxic and selfish people that you don't need to occupy that space in your life. In this video, I'll be revealing 11 characteristics of a bad friend. If you find yourself in any category, then you are one. If you find your friends in any category, then you have one. Let's get to it. Here is my list of top 11 characteristics of a bad friend you should note. 1. They don't have your back. This is so common these days, backstabbing, backbiting, gossiping and all sorts, but always your cheerleader when you are around. A real friend got your back even when you have a fallout. They don't betray you or betray your trust. True love is tested in storm. What you do when you're not happy with someone you love or call a friend is how much of a friend they are to you. Betrayers are never good friends. No, no. If they betray their past old friends before you, definitely they will betray you someday before others. Two, they always want to take from you. They rarely give to you when they have, but they are always ready to receive or demand from you and become angry when you don't give to them. These ones are in it for a gain. Friendship is meant to be selfish and mutual commitment and not one-sided. Any friend that you've always find yourself giving to them and they never give back to you is toxic. Although all fingers are not equal, even to the least of their capacity, they should be willing to give to you. You have a bad friend when they genuinely have, but keep it from you. Run. Three, they consider you as their last option. In everything they do, they never want you to be part of it. Or they can only call you when there are no other alternatives. This trait is bad in the area of businesses and contracts. If your friend cannot refer you to someone, then such is not a good friend. Or if they don't think you're good enough to be the first option, you don't have a good friend. Some folks have contracts pending and have friends who can deliver, but don't trust them enough to do so. No friendship without trust and support. Four, they are always curious about details of your personal life without sharing theirs. This kind of friend wants to know everything about your life, from the secrets to the least information about you. They will make you a subject of gossip and mockery when you have arguments or fallout. Beware of them. They want to know everything, but they tell you little or nothing about themselves. The more you tell your friend, the more your enemies are aware of your secrets. Be careful. Beware and know that when someone is just nosy, when you can trust them, you will gradually tell them what they need to know and not by forcing it out of you. Five, they're unhappy when something good happens to you. If you observe critically, you will notice they only pretend to be happy for your success. They always want to be better than you, especially when you are doing well in life. They are envious of your achievement and show it off one way or another. Everybody wants good things to happen in their lives. If you have a friend that has results, you would admire that friend and also desire the same. But when it's now a cause for jealousy, envy, resentment and sad mood, you watch out for such friends. You don't need them in your lives. Six. They remember you only when you can assist them. They never remember you when things are going on well with them. They only call you when they are in need. This is really common these days, especially in this part of the world. When they are in need, they reach out to you for help and ghost when it's your turn or things are working well for them. The urgent 2K category, I need a favor ministers. Cut off from these people, they are pests. Seven, they rarely assist or support you with any activity. They are too busy to assist you with any of your tasks. 
but you always be the first person to assist them. They are common as well. They don't find anything to do interesting to be of help to you. They feel it's stressful when you ask for an extra five minutes help or assistance. But when it's your turn, you can go over the moon for them. Please cut off from these people. Eight, they always want what is yours. They never satisfy with what they have. They become jealous of what you have and want it too, even if they have more than you. Never content, always feel they should have what you have. And even if, when you do, they are not satisfied. Not because they don't have theirs, but they want what is yours. Run away from such people. These ones are very dangerous. They can go to any length to get what they want, and that is yours. They are in steady competition with you. Every step you take is a contest. They are obsessed and they are toxic. Watch out for these friends. Nine. They don't respect your opinion. They feel you're not good enough to make a sound judgment. They don't want you to call the shots. They always have to be the judge and the jury. They don't see you as good enough to get something right and get it done appropriately. It has to be them all the time. When you do something good, they even want to probe it. Those are bad friends. When you find out you don't have a say in that circle, cut off 10. They don't respect your personality. They will always tell you what is wrong with you, not what is good with you. They only see your flaws and nothing good about you. They never show you or tell you what they admire about you. They are toxic friends. Cut off. A friend should be able to scold you, yes, when you're wrong, but more so commend your little efforts and successes. If they are always putting your light out, run. And finally, 11, they never really value your company. When you meet in a bigger circle of friends, family and loved ones, they treat you with the least value. They hardly recognize that you are also valued because they feel you will always be around. You know how much you are valued when the circle is bigger. No matter how familiar you get, a true friend will always be by your side, even in a familiar public setting. Some friends always hanging around you because they are bored, not because they value your company. When new people come on board with exciting packages, they switch things. Bad friends, run away from them. In conclusion, we don't have it all figured out because life is a mystery, so we keep unraveling. If you have good friends, try to keep them. Don't lose them. We also need to work on ourselves to be good friends to others. Our all relationship is essential in becoming anything we want in life. No man makes it in isolation. But the clause here is choose your friends wisely. We have come to the end of this exciting video. If you've learned something, please like, comment, and share. If you have something to add, please comment. If you want us to discuss a topic, please go to the comment section. Don't forget to share with your friends. See you soon and God bless you.